So today we're going to look at improving our dressage scores by riding more accurate movements. Um, today we're going to look at the 20 meter circle, which is a basic movement in training level. Uh, after that, there are 15 meter circles and 10 meter circles as we progress up the levels, but we'll look at those later. Today we're going to look at the 20 meter circle. And I find that a lot of people don't ride accurately enough in the dressage ring these days. Um, if you don't have the biggest moving horse, here's a tip. You need to ride accurately to get those scores. I've ridden everything, you know, people who know me know a wide variety of different horses from big moving warm bloods to Frisians to Andalusians. It doesn't matter. Uh, I've had horses who have really big fancy gates and I've had horses who have more moderate gates. And I honestly believe that at the lower levels, any horse can achieve 70% plus. It's a little bit more complicated when you get up to the FEI levels, obviously, uh, but I do believe that with accurate riding, you can do a lot more with a more moderate horse uh, sometimes than, than riders can necessarily do with a big moving horse because it's not so easy to ride accurately sometimes on the bigger moving horses. So today we'll just look at training level and the 20 meter circles. Uh, forgive my homemade dressage arena here. Uh, but uh, we're working on a low budget, so we do it again. Uh, and forgive my way out marks there, but I started writing the, uh, stupidly writing the numbers in, in letters and uh, realized this isn't an English class and I could just put the numbers down. Uh, anyways, yeah, but uh, carrying on. So in order to ride an accurate 20 meter circle, we need to just look at the math of things. And it's, it's simple geometry actually at the end of the day. Who would have thought that you would use math to ride a dressage test? But if you know your dimensions, it's very easy to ride an accurate test and providing you can control your horse as well, obviously. So we wanna look at our arena. Our arena is 20 meters by 60 meters. We know where the letters are, right? So this means that if it's 20 meters across both short sides, that we have 10 meters on each side of A and on each side of C. Down the wall, we have our other letters, right? So all the corners to the first letter are six meters, whether that's, you know, to K, to H, to M, or to F. All of the letters in between are 12 meters between. So that's pretty straightforward. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about when you're riding an accurate circle, the number one mistake I see riders make, especially at training level, because the horses are green, is they ride corners on circles. You need to not ride a corner. There's no corner on a circle. A circle is a bending line. So when you come in, if you're starting, let's say for example, we're gonna, we're gonna address first the 20 meter circles at the top of the ring. So whether it would be at A or down at C. Um, when you come into your test, let's say you're starting your test on the, on, you're coming into your circle on the left rein at A. You need to ride down this long side. You need to make sure you go into this corner so that you show the judge you're riding a corner. Then when you come to A, you need to leave the track. So you don't follow this into the corner. Now you're on your circle, it starts at A. So from this point on, we have to do the math. So we know that from A to X is gonna be 30 meters, from X to C is also gonna be 30 meters, right? The arena is 20 by 60 meters, so X has to be 30, it's the middle, right? So in order to make our circle accurate, we need to be 10 meters inside of X. So that's gonna put us two meters outside of L if we're riding our circle at A, right? Because six meters to D, 12 meters to L, that's 18 meters, then we need two more meters to make it 20, right? Okay, so that's the easy part. Now the hard part is touching the wall in between, because when we ride the circle, we need to ride our circle like it's the face of a clock. So 12 o'clock is gonna be A, that's your starting point. Now we have to ride, we're on the left rein, so we're gonna go to nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, you wanna touch the wall right in the middle. So you wanna touch the wall at 10 meters, right? So it's six meters from the corner to the first letter. We need an additional four meters to put us in the right spot to make our circle even. So we go from A, 12 o'clock starting point, to nine o'clock, four meters inside F, right? Then we're gonna go to six o'clock, which is gonna be our point two meters beyond L. Then we're gonna go back to the wall again, four meters inside K to touch three o'clock, and then back to the wall again at A. And then you would go back into your corner now because now your circle is completed. So you go back into your corner. Okay, so that's riding the circle at A. It's the exact same from C, obviously, the two ends. Now we're gonna look at riding our circle in the middle of the ring at E and B. Sometimes, you know, in first level and beyond, you start riding your circles at 
at V and, and P and R and S. Um, and we'll look at that when we look at 15 meter circles and 10 meter circles, but today we're just gonna focus on the ones at A and C and E and B. So when we wanna ride our accurate circle in the middle of the ring, now we have to center it here. So we need to be 10 meters either side of X. So that puts us two meters this side of L and two meters this side of I, right? Obviously we're gonna center the circle over E and B. For this sake, let's say we're going on the right rein, we're starting our circle at E. So we're going to start, you know, I find that this is, it's pretty straightforward actually, because we're gonna start our circle here, we're gonna start at three o'clock. So we're on the right rein, we come down the track, we go in the corner, we come straight down the track, we start our circle at E, this is three o'clock. Then we're gonna go down two meters this side of I, that's gonna put us down at six o'clock. Then we go over and we touch B because the arena is 20 meters wide, remember? So we have to touch both E and B. So B is gonna now be our nine o'clock point. And then we circle back around two meters inside L, bringing us to 12 o'clock. And then finishing off the circle, back where we started at three o'clock, carrying back on down the track straight again. So it's pretty straightforward. And if you ride accurately like that, focus on those things, it gets harder for the judges to take away marks. You don't wanna lose marks on accuracy. It's the worst place to lose marks. It's such an easy thing to address. And if you practice properly, you'll find that your scores go up.